Can I substitute baking soda for baking powder in any cake recipe? Hey there! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle a question that many bakers often ask, can I substitute baking soda for baking powder in any cake recipe? Baking soda and baking powder are both leavening agents used in baking, but are they truly interchangeable? Let's find out! Understanding the difference To answer this question, we first need to understand the difference between baking soda and baking powder. Baking soda is a pure chemical compound known as sodium bicarbonate. When it comes into contact with an acid, like buttermilk or vinegar, it produces carbon dioxide gas, which causes baked goods to rise. On the other hand, baking powder is a mixture of baking soda, an acid, such as cream of tartar, and a moisture-absorbing agent, like cornstarch. Baking powder is designed to work in recipes that don't contain additional acidic ingredients. When can you substitute? In certain cases, you can substitute baking soda for baking powder, but it's important to understand the limitations. If a recipe calls for baking powder and you only have baking soda on hand, you can make a substitution by using 1 quarter teaspoon of baking soda for every 1 teaspoon of baking powder required. However, keep in mind that you also need to include an acidic ingredient in the recipe, such as lemon juice, buttermilk, or yogurt, to activate the baking soda. When shouldn't you substitute? There are instances when substituting baking soda for baking powder is not recommended. Recipes that do not contain acidic ingredients might not yield the desired results when you substitute baking soda for baking powder. Baking powder already contains the necessary acid to react with the baking soda and produce carbon dioxide. So, if you substitute in a recipe that lacks acidity, the leavening action may be insufficient, resulting in a dense or flat cake. Testing the substitution If you're unsure whether your cake recipe can handle the substitution, it's always a good idea to do a test run. Try making a small batch of the recipe with the substitution and see how it turns out. Pay close attention to the texture, volume, and taste of the cake. This way, you can assess if the substitution worked well or if you need to make adjustments. In conclusion, while it is possible to substitute baking soda for baking powder in some cake recipes, it's important to consider the presence of acidic ingredients. Remember to use the correct substitution ratio of 1 quarter teaspoon of baking soda for every 1 teaspoon of baking powder and include an acidic ingredient to activate the baking soda. However, for recipes that lack acidity, it's best to stick to using baking powder as called for. We hope this video has helped clarify the substitution process for you. Happy baking, and we'll see you next time!